it's a different topic. Yeah. What does it mean to be at one with God? Um, I've answered that question so many times before, oh. Patricia, in a lot of the presentations. So I don't know whether it's worth spending more time uh, answering it today. Um, my suggestion is to actually uh, watch the presentations that are now on YouTube, if you haven't had the opportunity, um, to do with uh, prayer, longing for divine love, longing for divine truth. Um, if you that's can, all in that pack. That that's in that pack. Yeah. pack. Yes. That, that are there. If talks. you haven't got a copy of those, grab yeah. a copy of those. Because in there I explain in detail what you know, at one moment with God is. And also, over the years, there have been different people asking me different questions of what it feels like and so forth. Yes. And I've explained a lot of the feelings that are involved in that state. Okay, I look yeah. out for that because I've missed that so far. And it's a concept that I have a bit of a, a hard time relating to because it feels like something that might apply to other people, but not really something that right. I might aim for. It seems yeah. very grand and very lofty. And yeah. So I, I look out for that. It's, inter <laughs> it's interesting that you call it that, and I feel that there's some spirits asking the questions through you now. Um, and it's interesting you call it very grand and very lofty. The, the reality is very different. If you could imagine a, a, a person who's like a child who's in their own emotions completely, but they are completely free of any negative emotions. So in other words, they never experience anger or hatred or resentment or any of those other grief. kinds of emotions, yeah. grief even. But they are very emotional, they're very passionate, very, you know, the child's just doing its thing, you know, mm -hmm. in, in life. And imagine that child now growing up as an adult, but exactly the same type of uh, life where they're not worried about what everybody around them thinks of them they don't when i say not worried they don't have any consideration whatsoever of what anybody thinks of them but so, they're in a, a state of love with everyone around them yeah so yeah. They, they don't they, they treat a person who's angry with them with the same amount of love as a person who likes them and they you know they are in a state of consistent joy constantly and they're in a state of consistent peace internally, constantly. Mm -hmm. they, it, yeah. they also are absorbing truths from the universe constantly. So they're constantly growing. They're like a child in constant experimentation with the universe. There's no resistance to learning. Uh, so imagine for a moment, instead of you having like, you know, most of us have deep resistances to learning new things. Um, this child, now an adult, the same kind of feeling as the child, uh, has no resistance to learning new things, no, no shut down emotions, mm -hmm. no, no feelings of resistance in them uh, to, to changing or growing. Um, and if you can imagine this constant state of internal peace and well-being, knowing that you're loved by God constantly. There's, no, there's never a break in that condition where you feel you're, that God loves you. Um, so you imagine the peace of that state, um, that's the state of being at one with God. It's not a lofty position. It's not a sort of austere, sort of um, formal place. It's quite a um, disarming place. It's, it's very, yeah. there's a lot it's of very love. very playful <laughs> But well. it's very playful, relaxed, yeah. 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 Can I add on just a little sure, sure. something, which is about if I'm in that state or if someone is in that state, is it, uh, do the effects of that spread outside of themselves? Yes. I get the feeling that it does. Yes, yes. very it, much so. That, yes. it, it, it spreads to billions of people, actually, uh, at the sole place. Because the person is now open to every emotional experience, they are not judgmental at all. They have total openness with truth and love. Every single person around them cannot but help to be affected by their life. Now, some of the people around will be affected negatively. In well, other that, words, they will feel it's negative. They will feel it's negative. They'll feel feelings of jealousy, hatred, anger, rage, and so forth. Mostly because they feel the comparison between themselves and the person in that state. And then they feel like automatically they're being judged by the person even just existing. Does that make sense? Yeah. Or, and also because of the confrontation. You remember yesterday yes. we talked a lot about the codependent addictions mm -hmm. that basically most of our relationships operate in. Because this person at one with God doesn't even consider that they would meet an addiction in the other person, mm -hmm. it's very confronting. Yeah. They feel like they're not being loved. They feel like um, 
they want a demand from this, and this person, do, it doesn't even affect them, yeah. Yeah. this demand. So uh, it confronts the error within everyone around. <sighs> and that is actually a loving, beautiful thing, really, yeah. if you think about it, because it, it starts them in the process of confronting the error, which can then lead to them becoming more loving. Yeah. So the reality is when you're one with God, you don't, everyone doesn't automatically like you, right? Because, but there will be people that just like you and they don't really understand why. Mm -hmm. But then there's also people who will just hate you and they don't really understand why either. You know, but and these many people are who confronted. open emotionally because there's a person who has no resistance to emotion. Uh, so in the presence of that person, there's a deep feeling of it's okay to be myself however I am. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of people spontaneously, even actually not... Be knowing the person, but in the vicinity of that person, spontaneously opening emotionally. Yeah. Because, you know, we talk constantly about the effect of injuries on the law of attraction, the effect of injuries on the way the planet works and the emotions in kids and the way s structures work. Well, conversely, because God's love is far more powerful than any hateful emotion, just one person in a state of atonement has a massive effect on the law of attraction on, on everything around them. Mm. It's far more powerful than a person in... We, we have this common conception that dark forces are, are very powerful and scary, and, and I know I certainly have had that feeling... Um, but the truth is God's love is a far more powerful force. So just one person living in harmony with that has like a hugely mm. beautiful effect here. Yeah. 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 Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. The, the, the best way to illustrate it, Pauline, in the end is for one person to get into that state. And once one person's in that state in front of you, then you have an idea of what that state looks like and feels like. Um, and that's what uh, one of the reasons why we wanted to return Earth is to go through the process of demonstrating how to get into that state and then to get into the state for the point of view of demonstrating what the state looks like and what the state feels like so that, every, so that those people who have been interested in the process before then can have a lot more faith that they can also get to that same state or condition um, it just through their desire and passion being activated. Yeah. We're not there yet. <laughs> yeah.